Hello everybody and welcome back to Everyday Life. Uh, we have a switch uh, that's not uh, working. Uh, well, we're, we're not sure if it's the switch yet uh, or if there's uh, another issue going on, but uh, when you flip this switch up, uh, the light does not come on. So uh, we're gonna go through a process of uh, testing that out. I've already uh, taken the, uh, uh, the cover plate off and uh, pulled the, uh, uh, the switch out. So uh, we'll be starting from that point. So our next thing is gonna be, we're gonna be testing the, uh, the power uh, into this switch and out of the switch. Uh, so stick around and we'll be right back to show you how to do that. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and test these wires. Now what we're gonna do here, uh, now this is, uh, of course you notice something on, on here. Uh, when I went to take this uh, wire nut off, uh, this is an old crimp type wire nut. Um, I don't even know if they still make those anymore, but um, uh, but that's an old crimp type wire nut. So uh, when we go to put this back together, uh, I'll just take, I'll remove that and then uh, uh, put an actual, just a regular wire nut on. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little test here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our negative onto the neutral, uh, which is the white wire. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and start testing these black wires. Um, so let's go under here. Uh, that does not give me a voltage. So we'll come up to the top one. And that one gives me the uh, 121.9, eight, you know, whatever. So this is my power coming in. So this is my constant power. Now, when we flip this switch up, okay, then we should go ahead and get a reading down here on the bottom. and we do not okay so it is appearing that the uh, switch here the actual switch itself uh, is bad uh, so that when we switch that power uh, because when you have constant power coming in once you flip the switch it uh, completes the connection and that allows the uh, current to now flow to the actual light itself so it appears that this switch is bad which makes things a little easier because uh, those aren't are, those aren't hard to replace so uh, Anyway, so we'll be back and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, so we did pick up another switch here. And uh, so now we're gonna be disconnecting this. Uh, also, I wanted to show you a little closer view of this uh, uh, crimp uh, style uh, uh, wire nut. Uh, so that on there is crimped onto those wires. Now we can take a pair of dikes and snip those off or we can just cut right here and then just strip some more uh, 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 covering off and uh, you know uh, do it that way so uh, anyway uh, but let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, whoop, there goes my light okay let's go ahead and get this disconnected And the thing that I do want to mention ahead of time is that it really doesn't matter which direction you put these. So even if I uh, uh, wired it back up and I put this one down here and this one up here, that really doesn't matter uh, because all this does is separate the circuit. So it doesn't matter where your power comes in and where it comes out, uh, at, least, at least on this type. So, all right. <clears throat> Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and begin. Uh, we got this off of here, that uh, crimp. And, uh, you know, like I say, you just, you just cut it. Show a little closer there, you just cut it. Uh, or like I said, you can snip the wires and then uh, take the sheathing off. But uh, anyway, um, so now we're ready to go ahead and install the switch. Okay, so uh, one thing that you wanna make sure of when you go ahead and you put your switch in, uh, or, or anything like this, you wanna make sure that uh, the, the direction that you tighten you have the copper wire wrapping in that direction so that it tightens down as you tighten the uh, the screw. I'm gonna 
go ahead and replace this with a Phillips. And just put a little tension on that and tighten her down. We've got a little bit exposed it's sticking up right here, so we're just going to bend that around. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we got the wire nut, and uh, that's the other thing too, is make sure that the direction of these are twisted in the same way that you're going to be twisting uh, your wire nut as well. Okay, we can go ahead and tuck that back in there. Tuck this back in there and screw this in. And then of course I always check the plate just to see you know where we're at on that thing and that looks real nice so we'll leave that as it is um, and then I'll be back and I'll go uh, turn the power on real quick and then I'll be back. Okay so I went ahead and kicked the power back on. Um, like I said that's just you know the safest way to do things um, but uh, anyway so let's test it out and look at that we have light so Anyway, I uh, hope you learned something here today on Everyday Life. If you have any questions, by all means, put them in the comments. Uh, if you like what you see, please be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, here on Everyday Life, y'all take care.